about doubled in size in about a week and a half. It's just, it's, it's spreading out uh, to the edges. Today, we'll actually be able to assess the sort of full extent of the bloom as we have a, those 200 stations across Western Lake Erie in a grid. And it's, it's really to capture, um, you know, the dynamics across, you know, 40 miles across uh, to the Canadian side, 40 miles over to Monroe, uh, over to Toledo, and over towards the Erie Islands. So that, that large geographic area, we've been collecting water samples on regular intervals, and we're gonna analyze those for algal toxins, uh, algal biomass, and just trying to see how much the bloom is just emanating and, and spreading out uh, throughout the summer. Jaime is uh, part of a new shore buoy network monitoring conditions across the Great Lakes. Uh, this particular buoy is here uh, because we are very close to the Toledo water intake crib, so we're monitoring wave heights, wind speeds, water temperatures, and also um, uh, harmful algae. We're gonna uh, put this sensor back in the buoy now, so we just serviced it. We just got it all clean, ready to go. Um, it's, it's been out here all season, and we're right in the middle of uh, halve season, so the, the bloom is here. We've been monitoring it. The city of Toledo is using this data in real time right now to uh, understand uh, lake conditions and so they can treat the water better. resolution picture of this entire bloom in Lake Erie and understand uh, how toxic it is, how the toxin changes from the center of the bloom to the edges of the bloom uh, in different clear water versus murky water, high, high nutrient water versus low nutrient water. We just have enough samples and enough resolution to really sort of, to get a good idea of how that, how that happens. Cool. 